Hello, beautiful world. So today I'm going to be talking about mental health and all the issues happening right now, like mental health in this, you know, sort of world we're living in right now. Nobody knows when it's going to end, uh, if it'll end, uh, for the people who think that the apocalypse is here, uh, people who think that the asteroid that is supposed to pass like close to Earth is going to end us, like the dinosaurs. Uh, but, you know, you just gotta learn to uh, find ways to calm yourself and relax and you know just just try to avoid freaking out over situations like this so for me what I do is first I try to tell myself to relax I try to think of things that help me relax like cuddling with my dogs you know playing with them and uh, watching my favorite shows, you know, eating my favorite foods. I tell myself, like, think of all these things. I repeat all these things back to me and that helps me to calm myself down. And while I'm doing that, I take a breath. I take a deep breath. I gotta be specific about that. I take a deep breath with each thing. Uh, I take a deep breath uh, while I'm saying those things to myself. Uh, I mean, I don't say it out loud. I'm like thinking those things. So I think these things and take a deep breath in and then I say that thing or think it in my head and then uh, and then after saying it again, like for the second time, I uh, breathe out. And it helps me to calm down sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. Like there was this guy in the store today this was just like one thing that happened on the wheel. There was a lot of stressful things going on today and this guy just started spinning that wheel. Uh, he came into the store uh, that I was shopping in and from the get-go uh, he was complaining about the prices and saying that the store was jacking up the prices on purpose but in reality uh, it's not the store's fault. Um, it's not even the company's fault. It's the person who ships the products to the store the supplier they raise the prices then the store has to raise the prices because they have to make profit to you know be able to sustain that place and then the customer has to pay more because you know the products are in high demand and it's really not the store's fault but this guy was complaining from when he came into the store and uh, all the time while he was in line, there was a really long line. And when he got to the cashier, he was uh, yelling at the cashier and another cashier that was trying to tell him to calm down that, you know, if you don't like these prices, you can go and shop somewhere else. Uh, you don't have to be yelling about it. You can just go shop somewhere else. So uh, he ended up not buying that stuff. I think that he was just coming to that store uh, today because he was tired of being cooped up in his apartment or whatever uh, and just wanted to create some drama you know you never know with some people um, so yeah um, it was just a whole thing and that was what started it today and I was getting really stressed it kind of calmed me down a little bit to breathe but sometimes when things start and they keep going and there's other things that add to it and you know it's like a furball or whatever those um, things that go in the wind if there's more that adds to it it just gets bigger and bigger so I was getting stressed out there was so many things that I started getting stressed out because I was it, it was even me that I was sabotaging myself because I was thinking about stuff that stressed me out uh, I was thinking about how long we were out and that I should have taken the dogs out before we left and uh, I feel bad for the dogs because now they've been so many hours without going outside and that they need they need some exercise they need to empty themselves and like so many things so you know uh, at some point I just exploded and I exploded 
uh, I was yelling at my mom when I really didn't need to and uh, she suffered for that because she she didn't need to be yelled at um, nobody needs to be yelled at I just lost my cool and I just I, I just realized uh, it helped a little bit that as soon as I got home I, I kind of rushed home to get inside so that I could take the dogs out and then taking the dogs out that kind of uh, lessened the stress a little bit because you know at least now the dogs I don't have to worry about the dogs about them having to go outside so I, I took Debbie out and then I took Xena out and then I, I just I guess running around with them trying to like get them to empty themselves um, was kind of it kind of helped a little bit and that's another thing that helps with stress is exercise uh, I haven't exercised in a few days um, I think it's about four days and as you can tell I am very um, energetic but uh, it, it's not really I guess it is energy but it's like built up energy that I haven't been able to get out and it's it's like a build up of stress over so many days and that's why I was exercising every other day because I could get that stress out and then I haven't been feeling well uh, I've been like I mean I haven't been sick but I've been like feeling tired and just lazy um, like oh I could do it tomorrow you know just procrastinate is the right word so exercising is a good thing because it gets all your stress out yeah and uh, was actually planning today this is not sponsored by the way uh, I was planning to set this up today for exercise um, because you know especially when I'm feeling so stressed like this I feel like I want to punch something and it's a good way to not punch other people <laughs> I have a body pillow I could use that I could like hang it up or put it somewhere put it on the wall punch that if I didn't have this punching tower uh, that's what it's called um, and like other people they don't have that they can just use their pillow you know or punch into their mattress um, make it more comfortable make it more soft or something but yeah exercise helps a lot I would say um, I recommend that for people um, if you're feeling stressed like this then instead of exploding and yelling at people that really don't deserve it you know do some running um, do some do a lot of push-ups as many push-ups as you can do because I guarantee you by the time you're done doing those push-ups you will not even feel the energy that like you won't even feel the anger you won't even feel the need to explode at somebody I would suggest drinking tea that is calming like chamomile or mint um, these are things these are teas that help you to calm down um, peppermint whatever um, it helps you to calm down tea in general helps you to calm down not coffee coffee will make you more agitated uh, no energy drinks nothing with uh, sugar in it like uh, pop or anything because the added sugar will I guess make you more agitated uh, getting good sleep trying to in, in this situation, we have the ability to change our sleep cycles so we can actually sleep at night and go outside during the day where there's daylight so we can get vitamin D absorbed into our skin and actually be healthy. And that is recommended as well. Uh, try to get some vitamin D, but also practice social distancing because you don't want to get sick. And... If you have pets, if you have dogs, then enjoy your time with your dogs. Just love your dogs because they need love too. And they will return the love, like always, because they are wonderful and, you know, beautiful creatures. Uh, I mean, if you have cats that allow you to hug them too, then hug them. <laughs> um, that's only if they allow you. Uh, eat healthy, I make it a point to... Uh, have shakes in the morning healthy shakes with fruits 
I'll put some vegetables in, ginger, turmeric, and it's rare that I'll put vegetables in. I'll just pack it with a bunch of fruits. So it's a lot of vitamin C. Um, and I have that as my morning, like breakfast slash lunch because I won't even feel hungry until like late afternoon. Uh, so I do that. And I, oh, and I put protein in that as well. Um, and it helps me, well, it's a whole blender, so yeah, that's why I'm not hungry till late afternoon. But it's good because it helps you to give you energy for the day and nutrients that you need and also uh, so that you are not bloated and feeling really bad during the day when you really don't need to. And then dinner, I'll eat something uh, that I'll make, maybe something cooked. Um, I'll probably have something that's uh, a vegan treat, a vegan meat substitute, uh, something like that. Um, like a burger or, you know, a sausage or uh, pizza, you know, burrito, whatever it is. And I'll be able to enjoy it for dinner because, you know, it's not going to stress me out and it won't make me bloated or anything like that. Try to avoid stressful things. Uh, if you're watching the news, try to just read the main points of things that you need to know rather than watching the news, like all of it. Um, because then the more you hear, the more you're going to stress out and, and the less you're going to be sane. To make sure you stay sane, uh, avoid stress as much as possible. In these times, uh, most people are in quarantine, they're social distancing, they're not working or going to school, so they have a lot of time on their hands. I know if you were going to school, you're probably doing online classes now, uh, but what you can do uh, when you have the free time, you don't have to travel to school anymore. You can stay at home. So when you're done your stuff, you can do other stuff. Like you have time to exercise, you have time to organize, you have time to, you know, do something nice for yourself. Like even bake yourself a cake or something. Uh, you can do knitting. That'll be calming. Uh, you can read a book. You can. <laughs> You can read all your books. If you have a whole shelf of books that you haven't read ever since you bought them, then you can start reading those books. So remember, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, get your vitamins, uh, lots of garlic and turmeric uh, if you can, if that is safe for you. Uh, garlic lowers your blood pressure, ginger uh, counteracts that, and be healthy. Love you guys. Mwah. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.